if it's talking about sending a message those six balls or seven <laughs> if you count the wide really sent a message out not just to the opposition but to the world from Prithvi Shaw yeah for sure I mean we often or I often used to touch on the fact of how you set the tone as when I used to have the new ball in my hand you want to try and set the tone as an opening bowler well he certainly set the tone in those first seven deliveries and there was no coming back from it, it was basically game done and dusted um, that's not a telephone number you look at. <laughs> it's uh it was the over and um and all those shots were just fantastic you know right off the middle of the bat um, and played brilliantly so yeah i mean we always thought that the total wasn't was below par and that they would need to do something special but it was just six deliveries in or seven deliveries in, and we and we knew that um, there was only one winner and that they were on their way to success so he's been in good touch we, we have to say he's been probably one of the form guys striking it so cleanly at the top and he gave us another example of how good he can be. Well, in response to that, we've had two bad puns. I started with one. Sean responded with for sure. Um, I'm not sure if it was intentional, Joy. Before the show is over, you've got to find one as well. But in the meantime, in the meantime, what is working for this champion batsman? Uh, he's always had two things, which is the gift of timing and the gift of finding open spaces you know and it's a gift finding open spaces is a gift that not every batsman has you know finding the gaps but what he's got this year is he's just taking that much extra time to make a decision because he's a player who moves so fast he gets into position so fast that he has that time so now what is happening is when the slow ball comes because he's not predetermining his shot he has so much time to decide what to do and he changes his shot he changes his angle so there's a lot of stuff that's gone in there and Again, very interestingly, uh, you know, a lot of people have talked to him and, you know, there are a lot of people who take credit. But he himself believes that Praveen Amre, who is the Bombay coach and was actually from Bombay, again, a made a century in debut, never actually had a test career to match his talent. He is the guy who's worked with him. And Praveen Amre last year was not in Delhi. Praveen Amre has come back to the Delhi fold as well. So I think all that has made him to be in a very comfortable place. And after that, whatever has he's done about just adjusting that technique that little bit and about taking that little bit of extra time has really worked wonders for him. And once you get in, Prithvi is the kind of guy that once he gets in, he dominates. He won't, he won't go 50-50 with the bowler. Either the bowler is on top of him, he's given his wicket or he's going to take the bowler down. And that's something that's so important to Delhi because he gives them such explosive starts. Yeah, and, and at the start of, of today, we were talking about focus being on some of the young batsmen. For Kolkata, it was going to be Shubman Gill. For uh, Delhi, it was going to be Prithvi Shaw. But I think it's it's been a strange old story, Sean. We were talking about it a little while ago. That's what he finished with, 82 or 41. Prithvi Shaw looked out of sorts in Australia, came back, refound himself. And this is the result. Shubman Gill was actually playing the innings of his life in Australia, has come back and seems to have forgotten what Prithvi Shaw has remembered. Yeah, you talked about it at the start of the show. I thought you were going to discuss how we told you to pick Prithvi Shaw <laughs> on your fantasy team. But you didn't give us the credit for that. Anyway, moving on. I think it is. It's Expectation is a, is a, is a form of judgment. Um, and the expectation that people put on you, um, as well as the expectation you put on yourself, can have adverse effects at times. And when you go away and you have some success, you all of a sudden come back with a different mindset, like maybe you're supposed to dominate or maybe you're supposed to play at a different level. And those are always dangerous things. Um, you, you know, you need to try and just play the moment, try and stay in the, in the moment and focus on the job at hand. And um, maybe it is a case in point, you know, Pritvi Shaw goes away from Australia thinking, oops, that wasn't great. I have to reboot the system here. I have to come back a stronger individual. And he maybe reassesses how he wants to play. Shubman Gill has a great time in Australia, but then comes back and thinks, okay, now I've set the standard. This is what I need to live up to. And I, and I think those are the shackles that management, coaching staff, uh, you know, people who are mentors of individuals need to try and help the players deal with. Um, because you want as little baggage on your shoulders as you can possibly have, particularly in this T20 format. You just want to go out there, watch the ball and, and try and middle it as, as best you can. And when you're starting to think about what you should or shouldn't be doing, whether you should or shouldn't be dominating bowlers, if you shouldn't be hitting the ball over the top or you should be, or what scores you should be getting, all those things just can weigh, weigh you down. And um, I think Subban Gill will be better off for his experience tonight, but I think he'll still go away thinking, mm, I can do better than that. And um, 
we'll be able to see whether he would he bounce back nice he's uh, pretty sure i mean he doesn't have to think about anything he's just got to be he's just going to bed thinking when's my next knock uh, i'm going to go out there again look for that kookaburra and try and put it away to the boundary and that's the position you want to be in in this t24